All right, welcome to the show, everyone. We are now live, and happy Halloween to all you classrooms out there watching the show. And uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start our lesson today, which is Learn Around the World's Meet a Local. Our local today is Richard from Indonesia. We'll introduce Richard in just one second. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Learn Around the World where we bring you virtual field trips and guest speakers, just like today's show, from all around our big blue planet. Today is an interactive show, so that means if you are not on camera with us, then you can send in your questions to hashtag LearnATW on Twitter, or you can use the Zoom window that you're watching in right now. So there's a chat and a Q&A option in your Zoom window. And you can just send in your questions there, and that would be great. We're also going to play a Kahoot quiz later in the show. So pay attention, explorers, because uh, Richard may give us some answers to his quiz questions during our talk. And if you've never played before, all you have to do is go to the URL, kahoot.it. This works on any device and enter in the ID 783309. Again, that's 783309. Put in a school appropriate nickname. And don't forget if your class or one of your students wins the geo quiz today, make sure you send me your address. Email me your address because Richard has volunteered to send the winner of today's quiz a postcard all the way from Indonesia. So I said Indonesia a couple times, where is Indonesia? So remember, Learn Around the World is a geography-based program, so that means location matters. And today we are headed to the other side of the globe, to Indonesia. Indonesia is many places actually, so there are thousands of islands that make up Indonesia. And we are going to head to the island of Java today. So Richard is located in Java. Specifically, he is located in the nation's capital, which is Jakarta. As we zoom in, Jakarta is a big city in Indonesia. And Richard is a university student. So we wanna thank him for speaking with us today. It is a school night and he is up very late. So we have to be super nice to Richard today. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and bef right before I let Richard introduce himself, if you are watching the show right now, uh, if you'll go ahead and send in where you're watching from and what grade your class is in, I would love to give you a shout out. We also have space on the show. If you have parent permissions to be on camera, um, let me know if you want to be on camera and ask Richard questions live. If not, that's okay too. And without further ado, I'm gonna to introduce today's guest. Our special guest is Richard from Indonesia. Welcome to the show, Richard. Hello, how are you? Richard, uh, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, what, what do you do in Indonesia? Mm, hello, uh, my name is Richard and I'm from Indonesia. I'm located in Jakarta and I'm now studying in a university in Tangerang. Tangerang is a city besides Jakarta, uh, only about 20 kilometers from Jakarta. And yes, I'm now studying in the, the university named Surya University, and I'm studying human computer interaction program. Uh, that means um, like this is computer science. Mm -hmm. And in Jakarta, I also become the young tourism ambassador of Jakarta. That um that promoting the tourism culture and social in Jakarta that's all my uh what I'm doing in Jakarta all right okay. so welcome to the show today Richard and yes, thank you uh, <laughs> and Richard did you, mm. did you are you from Jakarta originally or are you from somewhere else in Indonesia <laughs> Uh, actually, yes, I am originally from Jakarta. I born in Jakarta and I live in Jakarta. I grew up in Jakarta and yes, until now I live in Jakarta. Okay, 
And so before we, uh, Richard put together some pictures to show you guys mm -hmm. uh, a little bit about what Indonesia looks like and some okay. highlights of Indonesia. But before we get to that, I do want to give a shout out to Mrs. Smith uh, Biscoff's third grade classroom watching from Bowmansville, Ontario, Canada. So welcome hello. to the show, guys. So say hello Hi. to Richard in Indonesia. Hello. Hi. And before, before we get started, uh, Richard, I have a question. What time is it right now in Indonesia? Right now in Indonesia, it's 10 p.m. All right, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. So Richard is up really late for yes. us, guys. So. It's, it's almost midnight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, so Richard put together some pictures for us. And Richard, can you yes. just tell us uh, what we're looking at here? Yes, uh, this is my friends, my college friend in Surya University, Human Computer Interaction Program. And can you see me in this picture? Um, yes. Right here? Yes, that's right, that's me. Oh, yeah, yes, so this is my friends in university. And you can see. This is uh, after the one of the event in our campus, and we take picture together. Okay, Richard, in Indonesia, what what's the common age to go to university? Uh, is it 16, uh, 18? Uh, it's 18. 18? It's common age for university is 18. And how many years is your program in um, My program and most of all the university program in Indonesia is for the undergraduate program. It's four years, eight semesters. Yeah. All right. What are we looking at now? Yes, uh, this is what I said before. Uh, this is my community in the tourism ambassador of Jakarta, uh, named uh, Koko Cici Jakarta, or in English we say brother sister Jakarta. Yes, the, actually we are promoting the tourism of Jakarta and the Chinese culture in Jakarta and yeah, the social, we, we also do the, some uh, social action for Jakarta. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if, this, if this was a program for um, Chinese culture yeah. with Indonesia, so is this Chinese traditional dress or uh, the, yes, this is the this is Chinese traditional dress. Uh, we call it Chongsam for the male and Chipao for the ladies. And what is the what is the background there? So is Indonesia is it very similar culture with China or? Um, no, actually, in, in this picture, the background is at the Chinese museum in a place in Jakarta. Mm. So, yes, that's only the place where we take the photo shoot. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Looks like you have some delicious food here. Oh, yes. That's, uh, this is, this is the most delicious food in Indonesia. And actually, uh, this food is also the most delicious food in the world also. It's <laughs> like, Rendang. Rendang is a beef. That, that's the beef from the place named Padang in Indonesia. And that's very delicious but spicy. Do you like spicy? I love spicy food. Yes. Yes. You, if you like spicy, you should try this. And so some, I think the kids maybe in Canada will find this interesting. <laughs> in Indonesia, yes. Is it, mm -hmm. more, is it common to, to eat with um, chopsticks with forks, or do you eat with something else? Um, actually, in Indonesia, we commonly eat with hands. It, it will make every food more delicious. Right. <laughs> so, and I, this is one of my favorite things about <laughs> Indonesia when I was there, is if, if you've never... Uh, if you come from oh, yeah. a place like the U.S. or Canada where you always mm -hmm. use a fork and a spoon, 
eating with your hands. So it, yes, that's. It's, uh, I very, thought it was very fun to eat with my hands. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, let's go ahead and All continue. Right. Remember, if you're watching from the outside, so we have a few more classes yeah. that have shown up. If you'll uh, mm -hmm. send in where your class is watching from, I would love to give you guys shout outs as well. If you have questions, send them in at any time for Richard and uh, we'll stop and answer your questions. Okay, where, where are we looking at now, Richard? Um, this is this is called Raja Ampat. Raja Ampat is one of the most beautiful places in Indonesia. It's located in Papua. Um, is Indonesia and that's a very beautiful place and you should try it and uh, you, you should visit it all right and maybe maybe with our next picture you can uh, it, it's also a place for us. Mm -hmm. right so why I see like a lot of steep mountains coming up out of the water and mm -hmm. is does this have something to do with it yes uh, yes, um, Indonesia is also called the Ring of Fire. Why? Because there is more than 400 volcanoes in in the country, and it makes also every day it will uh, it it makes the earthquake four times a day. But in some in some location in Indonesia, right. And so for all of our classrooms watching, uh, so the Ring of Fire, so if we, if we put mm -hmm. a circle all the way around the Pacific, yeah. there's a tectonic plate, and 70% of all yes. volcanoes happen on the Ring of Fire, and 90% yes. of all earthquakes in the world happen along the Ring of Fire. And look where Indonesia is. Indonesia is right on the ring of fire so they have a That's lot right. of volcanoes and a lot of earthquakes mm. four times a day four times a day wow yes, have you ever have you been in a in a big earthquake um if big no but i sometimes i feel it yeah do you yes, ever get because scared because my <laughs> because my city is far from the volcanoes and yeah i i only feel it a bit all right so i want to give a couple shout outs before we keep going so um let's give okay. a shout out to mrs walter's classroom their fifth grade class from blackshear georgia usa welcome to the show right. guys. and we welcome to this show. mrs uh Bennett's classroom, and they are from Missouri, USA, and they're a first, first grade classroom. Welcome to the show, guys. Hello. And Mrs. Bennett's classroom is asking, do you have four seasons? Uh, so summer, fall, winter, spring, or what is your weather like in Indonesia? No, actually, we only have two seasons. It's summer and rain. But uh, for now, uh, because of the global warming, it becomes chaos <laughs> right so if if you've been following along on some of our other shows from tropical regions so it's, yeah. it's hot all year round and there's a dry season and a wet season yes that's right. In, in dry and wet. okay and let's see our classroom from ontario canada wants to know what was in the food so i'll go back to the food picture but they want to know what mm -hmm. you said it was uh, a type of, of meat. What kind of meat? Um, actually, that's, uh, that's the beef. Okay, it's, so beef. that's the beef. beef and it's, um, it's also have some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, for some seasoning that's spicy and delicious. I don't know what it uh, made of, but that's delicious. So are these, the, the beef that's in it, is it, is it uh, like little pieces or is it big chunks of beef with uh, spicy sauce? Uh, actually, that's uh, quite big. You should uh, bite it or you should uh, cut it with your spoon. And yes, it covered with the spicy sauce. 
Okay. And so for our classes that have just joined in Indonesia, it's uh, you traditionally eat food with your hands. So you would not be using uh, forks and spoons, maybe a big spoon to serve it on your plate, but then you're using your hands to eat the food. So yes, wash your hands. Right. Mm, sorry. Okay. All right. And what are what is this place? Mm. Oh, this is Borobudur Temple, one of the biggest Buddhist temple in the world. And yes, this is very famous in Indonesia and one of the world heritage that awarded by UNESCO. That's the very interesting place to visit in Indonesia. And what is this? Uh, who is this statue of? Um, actually, I'm not sure because I'm not a Buddhist. But this is a Buddha, a Buddha statue. Right. So it, it. So this is Buddha, and and this one is broken. In the middle of each one of these stupas is another Buddha statue. So if mm -hmm. you go look inside of these holes, you'll see a Buddha statue just like this one inside of each one of these it's very beautiful. yes that's right and it said that if in that holes you can um you can touch the statue inside the inside this uh -huh. uh, you can pray for anything and it will come through <laughs> oh so it's like making a wish yes make a wish all right, and okay, so we have a, a question from uh, in Canada. They want to know what types of animals uh, do you see where you live? And mm. I know this isn't where you live, but what are we looking at now? Um, actually, for the animal at, at my, at my, hum, um, Yes, at my uh, near my house, we can see cats um, live freely in the city. Uh, yeah, and in this picture, this is a uh, komodo. Komodo is one of the the endangered animal in the world, and this is the only dinosaur that left in this world. <laughs> That's interesting right yeah it looks like a giant dinosaur and so the Komodo yes, dragons right. are, are from mm -hmm. indonesia yes that's right yeah and but do you have komodo dragons on the island of java where you live no I, i'm not sure there's the komodo island in java because komodo islands all uh, by the government is located in the komodo island in right. near bali Okay. All right. So thank you for those uh, pictures. And so we're going to open up and start answering some more questions here from our classrooms. And mm -hmm. so Mrs. Uh, Walter's classroom wants to know, what is school mm -hmm. like in Indonesia? So when you were younger, what mm -hmm. time did you go to school and what time did school finish? Let's start there. Um, actually, the school I think all around the world is the same. But uh, for me, in, in my experience in my school, at when when I was school, it starts at seven a.m. in the morning and it ends at around three p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, seven to three. And seven to three. What it, let's, What about the size of your class? So when you were little, did you have like 10 people in your classroom? Did you have 20 students, 30 students? How, how big would you say a common class? Oh, uh, my class is, uh, oh, usually in Indonesia, class is around 20 to 30 students in class. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I'll say for, mm -hmm. for those watching, Richard is from Jakarta, which is a, a big city. It probably has big yes. classes where maybe some small towns, maybe you have smaller classes. Yes, that's right. And what about, uh, what about lunch? So is it common in Indonesia? Do you eat lunch? Do you have like a school provided lunch or do you bring lunch from home? Oh, um, for the lunch time in Indonesia, uh, we, 
the the student bring bring their they their um lunch uh, from their house or they can buy at the school canteen right so you so you have the option so there's a yes there's an option okay and yes. but but most people bring it yeah um yes most people bring it because to save money right all right and what about sports do you guys uh have sports teams at school Mm, yes, uh, we have some sports team, uh, the soccer team or basketball team, volley team. Yes, that's some sports that have in my school. Okay, and over in Canada, they want to know what is your house made of? So I imagine maybe you live in the dorms at school, I don't know. But um, mm. what about what, when you grew up with your family? Where, what was your home like? Yeah, uh, my home. I I, st I actually I still live in my home right now, and my home um, made of bricks. Yeah, bricks okay. and it's like. Hmm? So, did you have an apartment or did you live in a house? No, I, I live in the house because yeah, in Jakarta. Um, Maybe the house is cheaper than apartment because there is a lot of plants in Indonesia. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Great questions, guys. Keep sending them in. And mm -hmm. let's see. Mrs. Bennett's classroom wants to know, do you play video games? And mm -hmm. second question to that is, what do children do in their free time? So are mm -hmm. video games popular? Um, yes, in Indonesia, video game is very popular, but actually for myself, I, I don't play video game. Yes, because uh, I, sometimes I, um, maybe I use my free time for watching YouTube. YouTube is very popular in Indonesia. And... Yes, sometimes, um, yes, in this technology era, uh, we have internet, so usually children um, browse, uh, do the browsing internet or watching YouTube, and sometimes they also play online video game. Mm -hmm. So what about you guys in your classroom? Do you guys like YouTube? So YouTube, yeah. very popular in Indonesia. Yes, and, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, what... So you didn't play video games, but when you were 10 years old, Richard, mm -hmm. what did you do for fun when you were not studying? Oh, when I was 10 years old, there is uh, internet is not too boom uh, as right now. Um, usually I just go outside home, uh, go outside my home and playing bicycle around, <laughs> playing soccer. Yes, that's what right. I'm doing. So riding bicycles, very fun. Yes. Okay, Mrs. Uh, Walter's classroom in Georgia wants to know what types of jobs are there? Um, so your your family or friends that are out of university, uh, is there a lot of Indonesia, is there a lot of farmers or mm -hmm. like factory workers or mm -hmm. technology? What's what's the uh, mm. job like? Um, in my city, because this is the urban city, they, most of the people here is uh, office worker, office, office employee. But uh, most of Indonesian, we know Indonesian is the agricultural country, so most of them also a farmer, but Indonesia also the um, island country, so most of them also do the is fisher okay mm -hmm. and <laughs> so we have a, a question about today so mm -hmm. today is halloween do you celebrate oh, yeah. do you guys celebrate halloween in indonesia uh, no actually we don't uh, cele celebrate halloween in indonesia also some of people that um that wants to celebrate and want 
and yeah um because in indonesia uh yes they they actually don't know about halloween maybe only the upper class in indonesia that celebrates halloween some of yeah, some some of them that want to be exist or hits in the social media they celebrate halloween by <laughs> themselves <laughs> And what, so the, the second question uh, to follow up there, what holidays mm -hmm. are, are your biggest holidays in Indonesia? Um, our biggest holiday in Indonesia, of course, the Christmas and New Year that uh, actually we, we are not going to school at that time. And also, um, do you know about... Um, what what do you call after after the muslim people fasting for a year and they have to go back ramadan. to their home yes ramadan that's right yes, <laughs> that's, that's 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 the two biggest holiday in indonesia right and so most of our kids watching may not know this but mm -hmm. indonesia is the largest islamic country in the world so as far as yes. population uh, a lot of people think Middle East, but Indonesia is the mm -hmm. largest Muslim country in the world. So Ramadan, huge, huge holiday in mm -hmm. Indonesia. And That's right. like you said, Christmas as well. Mm -hmm. All right. And so if you guys, um, we get a question from kids a lot about what does the money look like. And so I'm going to bring mm -hmm. up some pictures of the money. Again, if you have questions, keep sending them in and we'll keep uh, giving them to Richard. And it's, I think it's really fascinating to, uh, when I go to different countries, just to look at the differences in what yes. the money looks like. And mm -hmm. so Richard gave us some examples. So yes. first of all, um, mm -hmm. what is your money? What is the name of your money? So in US, it's the US dollar, or in Canada, mm -hmm. it's the Canadian dollar. What do you mm -hmm. call the money in Indonesia? We call Indonesian rupiah. Okay, rupiah. And mm -hmm. I looked it up today, and so currently today's exchange rate is one U.S. dollar equals mm -hmm. thirteen thousand forty-five rupiah. That's right. All right, and so your money is a lot more colorful. So you guys in Canada, you have colorful <laughs> money as well. Um, in the U.S., we have all green money, <laughs> kind, of, yeah. kind of boring. But uh, so yeah, are there mm -hmm. any of these pictures? Uh, do you know? Uh, any of them why uh, mm -hmm. they're famous on the pictures are they all political people oh um actually the most famous in in indonesian man money is the largest amount of money in 100,000 rupiah mm -hmm. there is the first president and vice president of indonesia and also the the one that make indonesia become an independence country okay that name sukarno and hatta mm -hmm. and so zooming up the the one on the top left so that's yes one hundred thousand mm -hmm. rupiah mm -hmm. and what is on your your coin uh on the bottom left here mm -hmm. So uh yes actually this is the back side of the coin uh, in the front side there is um the, the amount of the money and there's some yeah uh, the picture of some uh natural um natural resource from indonesia mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's uh, maybe the small one is 100 rupiah and the bigger one is 200 rupiah. All right. Okay, so Mrs. Bennett's classroom wants to know what language do you speak in Indonesia? Actually, in Indonesia, we say uh, Indonesian language it's the national language in Indonesia and uh, but some of them also use their um, their native language their local language 
because in Indonesia there is more than 700 languages that you use in around all around Indonesia. Whoa! Did you guys hear that over in Georgia and up in Canada and Missouri? They have over 700 languages in Indonesia. That is wow. That's all I got to say about that. That's a lot of languages. So how yes, many languages do you speak? I only speak one language actually, only Indonesian, because yes, well, that's only that's my mother language and oh oh yes. <laughs> so two two languages. Okay, so one Indonesian language mm -hmm. and then one mm -hmm. uh yes, in international language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And so and maybe maybe I'm wrong, is Indonesian the the standard Indonesian is that same as Javanese or different? Um, different because uh, Javanese is only one of the native languages in one of the region in Indonesia, and in in Indonesian language is the national language. But um, most of the um, Javanese is the biggest uh, the biggest ethnic in Indonesia. So. Most of Indonesia also speak Japanese. Okay, so if if you guys remember from the beginning of the show, when I zoomed into the island that Richard lives on, it's called Java, and so Javanese is the the native language of the Java people, and so a lot of people in Java speak Javanese. And Indonesian. So Richard put together a couple of words for us. So our our classrooms are asking if you can say a couple of things in Indonesian. So how about this? Can you just say uh, uh, hello? How are you in Indonesian? Hello, how are you in Indonesia? Hello, apa kabar? <laughs> All right. Hmm. And let's uh, let's learn just a, a couple of words in Indonesian. So I put Javanese on here, so I was wrong. But um, yes. <laughs> and since, and since uh, we don't have any own uh, camera classroom, so I will play the part of the students here. And mm -hmm. so Richard has been kind enough to write um, some words in Indonesian. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to say it. And mm -hmm. you guys in the classroom try to guess what it means. And I want you to try mm -hmm. to say it too. So I would look at this and I would say maybe uh, Azu. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. Okay, so Azu. And what do you guys that are watching the show, what do you think Azu means? And I'll give you three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. And what does Azu mean, Richard? That means dog. 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 All right, so Azu. Um, what about this one? Can you guys guess what this is? I'm going to say, uh, hello. Yes, that's right. Hello. Okay. And hello, I'm, I'm going to guess hello. Is that the same? Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right. So that one's pretty similar. That was an easy one. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, that's an easy one. Uh, this one looks tougher. Um, okay. Apa kabar? <laughs> so, okay, you say it. You say it. Apa kabar? Apa kabar? And what does that mean? That means how are you? How how are you? All right. Okay. So those are a couple of uh, words in Indonesian for you guys over in the USA and Canada. You can practice that. And uh, let's see, we got a couple more questions coming in. Um, what kind of pets do people have? What kind of pets? <laughs> yeah, what, what are popular pets in Indonesia? Um, the popular pets in Indonesia is the most of them is dog or cat. But some of Indonesian also love to, to have birds in their house and also some reptiles. Okay, and I noticed this when I was in Indonesia, especially out of Jakarta, so in the countryside. Many yeah. people have birds. Birds seem yes. to be very popular. Mm -hmm. And Indonesians make beautiful bird cages. 
So people had yes. beautiful wooden bird cages with uh, mm -hmm. birds in them. Mm, yes, that's right. All right. So here's what we're going to do. If you guys still have questions, keep sending them in. Um, in case some of our classrooms have to leave early, um, which mm -hmm. one already has, we want to go ahead and play our in-show quiz. So that means you can play as a classroom or you can play as individuals if you are a one-to-one -one school. So it's up to you guys in your classrooms. And I'm going to, all you have to do is go to kahoot.it. So that's the URL, kahoot.it and sign in with the ID 783309. Again, that's mm -hmm. 783309. Make sure you put in a school appropriate nickname. And if you've never played Kahoot before, you will look up at the screen that you're watching on now you will see the questions and answers. You will only see a button, for instance, a red square or a blue triangle on your device if you're playing on a device. All right. And I'm going to give everyone about 30 seconds or so to get logged into Kahoot. And let me just make sure. Richard, can you see my Kahoot screen? Yes, I can see. Okay. And I'm going to turn on the Kahoot music. That is, they have it for Halloween because it's Halloween uh, mm -hmm. today. So don't get scared, kids. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you about 10 more seconds. How many islands are in Indonesia? How many islands are in Indonesia? About five islands, about a hundred islands, about three thousand islands, or about seventeen thousand islands. What? There's around seventeen thousand islands in Indonesia? Yes, that's right. Whoa! Yeah. It makes Indonesia the biggest islands country in the world. Wow, that's amazing. So there's over 17,000 islands in Indonesia. That's even hard to, to think about. Okay, good job. Addy is in the lead, followed by Bella. Oh. And <laughs> okay, Indonesia is the what number populous country in the world? So that means how many people do they have in the country? Is it the second biggest, the third biggest, the fourth, fifth, or... All right, so Indonesia is the fourth largest country in the world for people. So they have the fourth uh, most amount of people. All right, Addy uh, soon to lead. Bella's wow. number two. 2010, how many new species of animals were discovered in Indonesia? Is it three? 34, 125, 200. 200. So, wow. kids, if you think science is not cool and everything's already been discovered, you're wrong. So, only in 2010, one year, they found 200 new species of animals in Indonesia. How cool is that? Yes, that's right. Oh, you better oh. keep getting it right, Addy. Bella's coming behind Addy. you. The currency <laughs> in Indonesia is called Ron, India, Dollar, or Lisa. Oh, everyone got that one. Wow. All right, <laughs> good job. And last question. Currently, there are a round. Uh oh, a round, a round. There are <laughs> how many endangered animals in Indonesia? 30, 80, 
100. Whoa, there are around 100 endangered Whoa. animals in Indonesia. So we saw that Komodo dragon. So Addy wins today's game. Whoa, congratulations, Addy. Great job. So if you are Addy's teacher, is Addy playing with you, Richard? Um, no. Sorry. Is that one of our students? Okay, so if you are okay. Addy's yeah. teacher, if you will, make sure you email me your address uh, yes. later today, and I will pass that on to Richard. And Addy's going to get a postcard from Richard from Indonesia. Yes, that's right. How cool is that? All right, so if you still have questions, keep sending them in, and mm -hmm. we are here to, to answer anything that you still have uh, to ask about Indonesia. Um, Richard, what kind mm -hmm. of uh, TV shows are popular in Indonesia? Um, is it like game shows? Do you have reality TV shows in Indonesia? Mm, actually, nowadays TV is no, no more popular in Indonesia because everyone is watching YouTube. Uh, but um, most of Indonesian love uh, what you call it some mm, drama or yes uh, drama series, but but uh, they they have so many series mm -hmm. so so many episodes never ending, never ending episodes so if it's popular so it will be played. if it is popular it will always it will Always on the TV. Always on the TV. It will, it's never ending. Usually, the <laughs> most of the television in Indonesia finding profit there. And do you have like Indonesian dramas or shows, or do you watch, or is it more popular to watch shows from other countries? Um, actually, I'm I'm not sure because I'm not watching that kind of. <laughs> you only watch YouTube. Yes, that's right. All right, so um, so for our classroom that we had a classroom just join us a little while ago. So if, if you guys want to shout out, let me know where you're watching from today. And I would love to give your classroom a shout out as well as remember, uh, you can send in questions that you want to ask about Indonesia to Richard on the chat or in the Q&A option on the Zoom window that you're looking uh, at this show right now. Um, what are the most popular sports in Indonesia, Richard? The most popular sport in Indonesia, I think it's football. Right. And for anyone in the US, that's soccer. So Yes, that's soccer. <laughs> right. So to the to the rest of the world, uh, what you call in the US football, that's American football. And oh, yeah. football <laughs> is soccer. Football is soccer. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, okay, so we have a, a couple of teachers just checking it out, uh, the show. Um, so, and you're more than welcome to send any questions you have if you're curious about Indonesia as well. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit more maybe about the food, Richard? I know a lot of people, so you showed us a picture of a beef dish. Uh, what mm -hmm. kind of uh, meats in Indonesia is is popular uh, is beef really popular do you do you eat a lot of chicken fish mm -hmm. mm, actually it's all the same but um yes it, it's all the same but most maybe most of the indonesian food use beef mm. beef uh they can make the uh, rendang as i said before and also they can make uh, satay or Soup, meatballs. Mm -hmm. All right, and satay, if you've never heard of it, is like a, uh, it's kind of like a meat on a stick that's, yes, uh, that's right. barbecued over fire. And mm -hmm. so what Mrs. Um, Bennett's classroom in Missouri, they want to go back talking about school. So do, school. do kids wear uniforms in school in Indonesia? Um, yes, the kids use uniform at school from they were um, at the kindergarten until they in high school they use uniform. But when they 
when they are enter the college, they are not using the uniform anymore. All right, and they also want to know what do what does your writing look like? So, do you have uh, a different characters, so different letters, or do you guys use uh, the same letters as in English? Actually, no. Uh, we use the same letters in like in English, A, A until Z in alphabet. Right. So they they're using yes. the the Roman um, the Roman alphabet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just like English, Spanish. So just like if you look at Spanish, they're gonna have uh, the same types of letters that you use in English, but it's gonna look completely different. Um, Mm -hmm. All right, and okay. let's see, does everyone get to go to school or only some children? So is, is public mm -hmm. school provided by the country for every child or do you have to pay to go to school? Yes, actually the public school is provided by the country, by the government for everyone to to go to school because in Indonesia there is the, a program from the government that uh, we have to study for nine years, nine years in the uh, nine, nine or 12, 12, 12, 12 years, 12 years in from elementary school to high school. Uh, if they cannot pay, they will be paid by the government, but for the college, they have to pay by themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what, so right now in the in the U.S. there's a there's a they're about to elect the uh, next president. So election year. Mm -hmm. How is oh, yeah. the, how is the elections in um, Indonesia? So do you mm -hmm. does everyone get the votes and if yes, is voting day a holiday? Do you have to vote? Is it a choice? How does that work? Uh, yes, um, actually for Indonesian, uh, the voting is for the citizen that uh, 17 years and above. More than. More, yes, more than 17 years. And for the election day, there will be the public holiday. So everyone have to vote. All right. So I, I think it's a, it's a great question here in the U S yes. you don't have to vote and it's not a public oh, yeah. holiday. So it's oh, really, yeah, it's, I, I do not like it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I lived in Korea, South Korea had a public holiday, so no one mm -hmm. had to go to work or school on voting day in Australia. Mm -hmm. so you, you're close to Australia in Australia. It's illegal not to vote. So if you don't vote, you get a ticket. So you have to pay money. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So they have, I think, ninety-eight percent of the people vote in Australia mm -hmm. because it's it's the law. You have to vote. Yes. All right. And mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Mrs. Bennett's classroom had to run, and they were saying uh, thanks for the amazing opportunity. Thank you, Richard, and yes, have a great so day. Much. All right. And uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, if Richard has a couple more minutes, we'll stay on. If you have any other questions, I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and end the recording for anyone watching on demand in the future. Thanks for mm -hmm. watching the show. And a big old thank you to Richard for answering our questions. And thank you for what you learned about mm -hmm. future virtual field trips or virtual guest speakers just like Richard uh, with us here today. You can mm -hmm. do that at learnaroundtheworld.com. Until next time, keep exploring, guys.